false. You got right, miss, you miss, got, miss. You got, you got him false. You got, okay, you got okay, it. Take okay. your time. Take your time. I am. Yeah. Take your time. Breathe. False symmetry. The player who have fought hard in the event and one of the players who have three wins in her name. She is known to be one of the overlooked players in the event with fluctuating history in the event itself. However, when she is really here to win, she really is going to. False, as you have already known, is a content creator on the Hermitcraft server, but she really starts her journey in the good old server called Geomine. Hell yeah, she do be rocking an iMac during those days. Macbook, I think? Yeah. She eventually joined the Hermitcraft server during its season 2 and has been here since. She also recently joined the good old Empire SMP which also expands her reach with other content creators, especially with the majority being on the MC Championship. Her really first event was way back in MCC4, with her good old friend Rendog, who was completely amazed by the fireworks display. It's so amazing. It's look, getting look at the sky! Fireworks! Wow. Well, I'm, get, right. I'm getting hyped Catherine, by I'm this. I'm just hanging this with cool. you. And the two people who she later met on an SMP two years later, Fwip and Catherine Elizabeth. And yes, Fwip and Ren and herself are new to this event, so they're really hopped up for this one. So for their first game, it is going to be great, right? Uh, it's a slow sky battle first, and they got completely demolished by the person. Who killed her teammate and was feeling good? Oh, Kendra, no! What the heck? Right here. I wasn't expecting someone. To... How did he get there? He ender pulled over. Oh, oh I'm yeah, we're all out. Hacks. Oh no. Um, I need to contact my lawyer. GG. Okay then. <laughs> Jeez. All right. We are. Oh, okay. we are I don't know. I wasn't even looking that way. Their best game in the event was of course Rocket Spleef, who forced herself surviving all the rounds. The team came 7th, which is not bad considering that the 3 quarters of the team were completely new to the event. The streak of teaming with the Hermes continued in MCC5 with the man who created Fall Hunters and the person who really made chaos on the server 2 years later. It is indeed an all Hermes team in this one, but I mean their sense of time run went pretty alright, right? Uh... I don't know if I dare this parkour. I don't know. No, guys, you haven't used your markers to tell oh, me where you've been. Yeah, I did. I did. You did? I, yeah, I should have oh. used, used the markers. Just go to the portal. I'm gonna... Go to the portal. Oh, it's not. Ah, uh, it's, it's too late. Oh, it's, dang it. Hero. Man. Yeah. We should have come this way first. We were terrible. 20, 25, 32. Oh, man. I lost all my Where's my way out? Oh, 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 man. That was rough. Yeah, we were the second team out. <laughs> yep. Only 90 coins. 90. But False herself is proved to be one of the best team in Paco Water. Same as with Iskal. She helped the team quite a bit and thus getting the team to sick. A better team placement than her last event. Then comes MCC6 with the same team members except with Right Guy being with the trio of Cup, False and Ren. They came well. You know the introduction of the Dream Team and many crack players out there. Yeah, it really pushed them down to 9th. Yes, it's also the same case for MCC7 with Green, Ren and Pearl and MCC8 with Ren, Cup and Pearl. Yeah, her time in those three events were not really on her side. And since then, almost everybody in the MCC community deemed the Hermits as the players who are really here to have fun in the event. Alongside, well, yeah, people, other people, past people in season 1, yeah. But that changes in MCC9. Fruit Berries, H Bomb, Rindok, and Foss herself. From their great start in the first round of Sky Battle, all the way to their phenomenal performance in survival games, which today is still record for unmodified coins earned in a single game. Got fire resist on? Is on me? I haven't got fire resist, okay. I'm on fire right now. Hit Tommy, hit Tommy. Down. 
Tommy. Dead! Let's go! Oh, oh, look how look many at points that we lead. Lead. Let's go! Yeah! Let's look go. at that! Oh, we don't have What the heck oh, just happened? Man. This team eventually pulled a reverse sweep against another fan favorite of Green Guardians in the event, and thus earned Brent and Foss their first wins. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We won it! What? 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 Holy crap! Oh my goodness! That oh, is insane! Real. The stupid crown covers my eyes! Awesome job. Of course, the hermits are here to strike them all. And they won again in MCC 10 with Pete, Cup, and Joel. Yeah, that is to be very spicy though from her. That arrow's staying in the back right corner for a bit. You got this. Nice, nice shot. shot. Nice shot. Good shot. You got this, false. You can do it. We're fine. Play time to regain. Two on three. False supremacy. Let's go. Come on. I missed. Let's go. Nice Good shot. Good shot. Shot. Don't let a 1v2. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 Amazing. Oh, oh, GG! Oh my, my gosh, God. I'm getting a divorce! Yes! yes baby! Back to back Let's winner. go! Let's go <laughs> back to back. This ground her her second win as was the very first back to back wins in the history of the event. So to keep it back down a notch, MCC11 saw the team of her green, Ren, and Fruit, well with pants, as well as MCC12 with the same team but with Fruit instead of Fruit. Yeah, those two events are not that. Yeah, yeah. But then came MCC 13 with Pete Green, Carol Corvus, and herself. The performance in the last six games do add up to their graded performance yet. But unfortunately, though, the master of reverse sweeps, Illumina, crowned the wins to themselves. So, yeah, that's her very first loss in Dodgeball right there. I don't know. I, just I don't just know. You got this beat. Be random. No, this is on me. This is on, this is on uh, me. Oh, no. I feel like it's not for us. But, um, oh, it's so all good. Kidding. We played the best we could. Yeah. GG, okay. guys. Oh. So season 2 came around, and she's back with almost the same team as in MCC 11 again. This time with Ren, Cup, and herself, alongside Fruitberries. We know they did not do very well in the event, hence the 10th place team. But they sparked something as a trend in Battle Box. Go, go. In the middle. You're distracted. We, we almost got it, we almost got it. Go, go, go. Yes. Nice, get nice. rolled. Good job. Get rolled, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the next event is a little bit on the better side, though, from being first in the revamped sands of time to second in his race. This really seems that they are climbing, but uh, red SG is everything. What we see in these two events of her is the lack of the games that she could shine. Her best game, Rocket Spleef, was nowhere to be seen around in those two events as it is in the design phase. Or maybe not thought about it in... yeah. Build Mart is also very new with the new mechanics and such. And it is also skipped in MCC 15. And of course, Sense of Time is also new in the same event as well. There's not really any game that she is particularly good at. But eventually, the next couple of events, she step up her game quite a bit. MCC 17, with the iconic team of Korean Pete, SB, and herself. Her Sense of Time run was phenomenal and matched between the runners of the team itself. Yeah, that blue out is literally everything, I would say. As, as was the team turning in first place builds with solid communication all around, and Foss turning in one of that as well. And of course, a call that is really a life saving one yet, grant them the team to be one of the best teams out there. Hello. Yes, stand behind me. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. That's it. Nice. Use your range, use your range. He can't do much. That's it. He's. he's, he's... He's going to be one shot. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> what is so going well on? This team eventually led themselves to Dodgeball 
And there is one the event. Oh, oh my god, Brian, MVP, I'm sorry. Holy... Oh my ah, goodness. Ah. She then returned to the event in MCC19 with the Midmates. Yes, Midmates. And then came MCC20 with the return of Rocket Spleef in the remake of Rocket Speed Rush. Well, with that, she is here to dominate. Well, not really for this event, but you will see in the next ones. But one controversy in this event for her is um, Luminous Chat. Yeah, sometimes the chat is kind of bad to say the least. So that is a pressure to put on into her a bit. But, but, but that doesn't mean everybody, okay? It's, yeah, generally from what I see in comments and yeah, yeah, yeah. But to say the least, in Sky Battle, after two abysmal rounds, she eventually steps up with the cost and everything. You can't be scared to bridge. You, you, you're the bridger of the team. Like you're. I know, I know. Right, right. Okay, let me okay, close shots right. here. Okay, can we go all the way up the candy cane and start getting towards the middle ASAP? Uh, yeah, I guess, are we just going all the way mid? Just keep the bridge. <laughs> no, keep, keep the walls down at just one for now because we can see what's going on next to us and then we okay, can block okay. it off if we yeah. need to. And that eventually gets the team from the bottom all the way to 7th. Yeah, Lumina was not confident in shots calling, but really, Falls is a very good go boss here with the calls and everything. Aside from that though, the team did very well in the good old game of Bill Mart as well as Sense of Time, with her being the second top runner of the team itself. You can see everything that they do well in Sense of Time in uh, that behind the dome episode, yeah, 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 yeah. And with all of these, that leads them to Dodgebot. And as with the pressure getting on to falls from Shat and everything, yeah, it, it is not great to watch that loss. I am not even gonna play the last round for you, but yeah, it is heartbreaking to say the least. So yeah, she took an event off. Or maybe she got benched, I don't know really, but she came back in MCC 22 with the Desert Duo and Bomb94. Now this is where Falls starts to get hang of her past game in Season 1, where she got 187 Mountain Multiplied Coins in the game for this event, compared to her 93 in MCC20. Yes, double the amount. She then almost doubling it again in MCC23. She stepped up her game and won the first round of the game itself beating Dream, who was using an all Sam dude tactic at the time. Yep. Yes! Yes! Woo! Get out of here, Dream! No! Yes! 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 to Lytra and Space Handling skills in Rocket Speed and Rocket Speed Rush. She is the one to be feared of, especially in Dodge Bolt. And of course, with her stepping up in charge in round 3 of MCC20 Sky Battle, this really shows that she has the potential to step up her game and lead the team to victory, if necessary to do so. Even though she is currently having a roller coaster ride when it comes to the teams and such, but of course when she is dedicated, she will eventually become victorious out of them all. And maybe that top 10 spot may be looking for her. Yeah, it is possible. This is false symmetry. <laughs>